Good evening. Thank you for joining us here on the News at 10. I'm Shira Matsuzawa in for Doug Petcash. And if you've driven around downtown Boise recently, you may have noticed all of the construction and not everyone is happy about it. Those concerns made their way to City Hall. News Channel 7's Abby Davis talked with city staff about how they're helping businesses and community members navigate those street closures. Abby. Well, Shira, an economic advisor says individual projects aren't really the issue. The problem started when timelines for numerous projects started overlapping. The construction's been coming this way. and A growing city. I guess it's just our turn. Means some uncomfortable growing pains, at least for businesses near construction sites, like the record exchange. Some shirts at the end of the album. Sweet. General manager John O'Neill has been there since the beginning. We, uh, um, had a lot of trepidation heading into it when we first heard about this um, maybe 18 months ago. That's because downtown Boise construction takes time. We've got a couple hotels, some mixed use housing. I believe there's two new streetscape projects that will enhance kind of the bikeways and the sidewalks. City Economic Development Advisor Andrea Cantor says right now there are about eight projects around the Main and Grove area. They're all kind of culminating around the same time right now. That's creating some problems for businesses. We lost one parking place plus all the other parking places down in front of the construction. And customers. It takes a little bit more planning to like try and figure out where you are and what's happening if you have to park a little bit away, a ways away. Over the last probably under 12 months, uh, I've been working with businesses directly on what does it mean to have all this construction around them, especially in the 10th and 11th area of downtown. So in order to have influence and reduce impacts experienced during the construction stage. Cantor presented some of those findings to City Council on Tuesday. I think as we look towards the future, we want to play kind of a more involved role. Uh, to help the public be prepared for what's going to be down the pipeline. What that looks like exactly remains unknown. So that could look take the form of um, enhancing how we communicate with our partners and the public. It could also look like working with partners at like ACHD on creating kind of a special traffic plan that says if you need the lanes closed or you need the sidewalks closed for X amount of time, here's how we're going to do it. For now, O'Neill says it's business as usual as they stay positive about all the changes. It'll reduce the amount, the width of the street and slow people down when they go by our business. Is that nice? Yeah, that's really nice. O'Neill hopes construction wraps up by September. He says that that date has been pushed back a little bit. And to prepare for future projects, Cantor says the city is also looking at how other comparable cities manage its construction projects as well. Yeah, no doubt a lot of us have got stuck in that construction recently and over the time. So thanks for sharing that, Abby Davis.